Yo, 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 what is good, YouTube? It is your boy, Make America Lit, back with another NBA 2K22 video. And in today's badge breakdown episode, we're going to be looking at the Tireless Defender Badge. So let's just jump right into it. Tireless Defender Badge allows defenders to play defense more aggressively without losing energy at the same rate as a normal player. So basically what this means is that everything that you do on defense is going to cost less energy than if you didn't have this badge. So reaching for steals, uh, just running on defense, holding R2 and your turbo is going to uh, require less uh, stamina. Go jumping up and going for blocks and stuff like that is going to also require less stamina. You can basically think of this badge as handles for days, but instead of for dribbling, it's for defense. As far as the badge recommendation... I've only rocked this badge on two levels, and that's on bronze and that's on silver. I haven't rocked it on gold, and I haven't rocked it on Hall of Fame. As I've said in previous videos, I don't have a defensive build that gets Hall of Fame defensive badges yet. I can only go up to gold, so I haven't even bothered with gold. Um, I think the sweet spot is bronze. You know, the boost that you get for bronze is pretty significant. I'm pretty sure that NBA 2K Labs did a test on Tireless Defender already. And I think the sweet spot for them was saying that you should rock it on at least bronze. I've tried it on bronze and it, it does help. You know, I've noticed that it does help when I'm pressing square and stuff like that. I'm fighting through screens. I'm trying to like, you know, hold R2 and I'm using my turbo to try to keep up with the dude that's just left writing and stuff like that behind screens. It does help. My personal recommendation, I would say run it on bronze if you have the badge points. If you have at least 10 to 15 badge points or more, you could definitely throw this on bronze. If you have less than 10 badge points, I wouldn't waste my points personally. I don't run it because I only have six defensive. If you have more than 10 or at least 10, then I could see throwing this on bronze or whatever for the little boost that you do get to your stamina. But personally, I don't think you need this. Everybody has 99 stamina in current gen. You know, also you have to keep in uh, keep in mind that you can get Gatorade as well. So it's like that stem 99 stamina plus Gatorade. I don't really think I'm going to really need to use Tyler's Defender. I might throw it on while when I'm playing like Pro Am 5v5. But other than that, I just don't really think that it's one of those badges that you have to have, you know, um. Be sure to drop a like on the video and comment down below if you run Tyler's Defender. And if you do run it, what, what badge level do you think uh, is the best you know, that has worked for you? Um, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more NBA 2K22 content and badge breakdown videos. It's been your boy Make America Lit. I'm out.